In this problem, we're asked to draw a mechanism for the following reactions. And we're going to go through four of these. Now, before we start this problem, it's important to note that the mechanism is going to be SN2 if we have a primary alkyl halide. And it's going to be SN1. That means it makes the um, carbocations if we have a tertiary alkyl halide. Now, if it's a secondary alkyl halide, it can be SN2 or SN1, okay? And uh, we'll talk about this later, okay? So for right now, let's just consider the two very black and white situations. This guy right here is a primary alkyl halide because it's connected to one carbon. And so it's going to proceed by an SN2 reaction. The curved arrows that we use for that are to take this negative charge and kick off the bromide. Okay? For part B, this is a tertiary alkyl halide. And because of steric hindrance, this must proceed by an SN1 reaction mechanism. This is a two-step procedure. Bromide is a good leaving group. So we want to sever this bond. And what that's going to make is a stable, relatively speaking, tertiary carbocation. Okay, so we've lost bromide. I'll just put minus Br minus there. And now we have iodide, okay, which is a nucleophile. And that's going to attack the carbocation to give you the final reaction product. In part C, here's the area that's somewhat gray. We said if it's primary, it's SN2. If it's tertiary, it's SN1. But about secondary? Secondary can be SN2. Or, so if your alkyl halide is secondary. So again, let me slow down a little bit. Here's the alpha carbon. And this is connected to one, two carbons. Okay? So this is a secondary alkyl halide. It can be SN2 or SN1. So how do you decide? The way to decide is to look at the strength of the nucleophile. Okay? If we have a strong nucleophile, okay, that means something with a negative charge. It's going to be SN2. And I just want to emphasize here that that is a negative charge, right? And if it's a weak nucleophile, Notice how I'm leaving the negative charge off. This is going to be neutral. Okay? Something like H2O, ethanol, you know, something like that would be a neutral nucleophile, okay? Because there's no negative charge in these neutral compounds. So what do we want to do? We want to take this negative charge and we want to attack and kick off. Now, be careful here. This is a chiral molecule. So remember how the mechanism works when you have an SN2 reaction. The nucleophile, okay, is going to attack from the reverse side as the leaving group, okay? LG means leaving group. So what that means is that the nucleophile, which in this case is CN, is going to be attached from the reverse or back side of this molecule, okay? And we're just kicking off bromide here as a leaving group. Okay. Next up, we have this one here. And here's a gray area, okay? If we look at this carbon right here, this is defined as the alpha carbon. It's connected to two carbons. So we would say that this is a secondary alkyl halide. As I mentioned, secondary alkyl halides can be SN2 with a strong negatively charged nucleophile, or it can be SN1 with a neutral nucleophile like, in this case, water, okay? So what do we want to do here? We want to first create the carbocation. So iodide or iodine is a good leaving group, okay? And this will form a secondary carbocation. Not the best, but that's the choices we have here, okay? Next, we want to use neutral water. And I want to emphasize this by drawing out the OH bonds. 
these lone pairs on the oxygen atom are going to be the nucleophile that attack the positive charge of our carbocation. This is going to give us an intermediate that looks like this, where the positive charge now resides on the oxygen atom. Okay? Uh, that's not quite the product, okay? If you look at the product, we have a neutral alcohol, so we're going to have to use something in solution to deprotonate this. I'm going to use another water molecule here. Well, I'll just use, since we want to form the molecule HI, I'm just going to use iodide, okay? Where does the iodide come from? It comes from the first step, okay? So you form, I'll just draw it floating around here, okay? Iodide's going to come in, act as a base to deprotonate this guy here and give us the products, okay? So that's one way you could show this. Uh, note that you could use water as a base, which would be a little better. So use water in the last step, okay? Uh, is, is, is an option, all right? So that's how you've got it. You've got an elimination of iodide, you've got an attack of neutral water molecule, and then you've got a deprotonation event in the third step, okay? Thanks for watching, and uh, please do consider subscribing to my channel.